our esteemed students invited to Kenyatta University and admitted to Kenyatta University and into the School of Environmental Studies, may I say hello to you and welcome to the school. My name is Dr. James Koske. Uh, I am the Dean of the School of Environmental Studies. Um, the School of Environmental Studies in Wa is one of the largest and best university institutions of environmental studies in the region. As you keep and stay safe from COVID-19, welcome to our orientation program. In our presentation, we shall discuss our organizational structure and objectives, the role of the departments in the school, the programs offered by each of the departments and their modes of study, registration of units of each of the programs, and career outlook. Let me begin by talking about the Dean's Office. The Dean is the head of the School of Environmental Studies. The school has a number of objectives which are geared towards promoting of development and expansion of environmental studies and sustainability in higher education through regular and alternative modes of delivery. It is also geared towards enhancing levels of active participation in environmental studies and sustainability research, dissemination and preservation of environmental knowledge, skills and attitudes for academic environment and societal development. The Dean's Office has personnel to assist in the day-to-day -day operations of the school. They include an administrator, an administrative assistant, secretaries, and other non-teaching staff. The school coordinates teaching and research programs and other relevant activities within and outside the university. In conjunction with the University Senate, the school processes examination results and participates in graduation ceremonies by awarding certificates, diplomas, and degrees at undergraduate, master's, and PhD levels. The school has an examination office in charge of processing examination results from departments, which will be presented to the University Senate for approval. The Dean has a number of committees and subcommittees for specific purposes. Most important of these uh, uh, committees is the executive committees consisting of chairmen of departments and all appointed uh, heads of sections, examination sections and other sections within the school. In the school, we have got posted to the departments members of technical and academic staff who teach and carry out research in specialized areas in environmental studies. Among these members of staff, who, are, who number 45, are seven professors. The school also access the link into government and non-governmental organizations at local, regional, and international levels. Our graduates find employment in various sectors of the industry as environmental prof uh, professionals and technical staff in line ministries, county governments, government agencies like NEMA, KWS, Water Towers, KenGen, United Nations agencies, international and local NGOs and CBOs, and in self-employment in environment and development such as auditors, assessors, EIA experts, and in private practice. We have got three main teaching and research departments which offer diplomas, undergraduate degrees, master degrees, and PhD degrees. The Department of Environmental Studies is one of the departments is environmental, uh, Department of Environmental Studies and Community Development, popularly referred to as ECD, is headed by Dr. Joseph Kurauka. The Department of Environmental Planning and Management, popularly referred to as EPM, is headed by Dr. Sami Letema. 
the Department of Environmental Sciences and Education, popularly referred to as ENSED, is headed by Dr. Gladys Kaduru. There are other units within the school. For example, we have got a resource center where materials on environmental studies are available to students for their studies. We have got a GIS laboratory. GIS is Geographical Information Systems. And this laboratory um, offers techniques of, in the utilization of GIS. We also have got environmental sciences laboratories which assist in research and in students' practicals. We encourage our students to study from the field. So we often include field trips and field courses to our students to various parts of our country, such as Mombasa area or coastal region, the Lake region, Lake Victoria region, the Rift Valley, and the semi-arid areas, including um, the northeastern part of Kenya. Our students are active, and they have got a popular club, often referred to as KUNEC, Kenyatta University Environment Club. It's a popular club because students from various schools join this club. The club spearheads student activities on environment, including environmental education and tree planting. CUNEC has won many certificates and trophies in recognition of their work. They participate in national and international functions like World Environment Day, which happens on 6th of every June every year, World Environment Day, Wetlands Day, and the Certification Day. Uh, we have got a number of departments, environment and community development. Um, we have a number of programs in our school which are situated in the various departments. We have got under the bachelor's uh, programs, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Education. We have got Bachelor of Environmental Planning and Management. We have got Bachelor of Environmental Science. We have got Bachelor of Environmental Studies, Community Development, and Bachelor of Environmental Studies in Resource Conservation. For the master's programs, we have got Master of uh, Science in Environmental Education, Master of Environmental Studies, Climate Change and Sustainability. As you are aware, climate change is a contemporary issue that requires more focus in research and in training of people who can counteract the impacts and effects of climate change. We have Master of Science in Sustainable Urban Development. Uh, we have got a Master of Environmental Planning and Management, and we have Master of Environmental Studies in Agroforestry and Rural Development, Master of Environmental Science, and Master of Environmental Studies in Community Development. Each of these courses has a higher level degree, which we usually refer to as PhD. So each of them has a PhD. For example, we have got PhD in Environmental Studies that is specializing in environmental education. We have got PhD that specializes in climate change and sustainability. We have got PhD which uh, specializes in sustainable urban development. We have got PhD that specializes in environmental planning and management. We have got PhD that specializes in agroforestry and rural development. We have got a PhD that specializes in resource conservation. And we, uh, students can progress from even diploma to uh, bachelor's degree, to master's degree, to PhD degrees from our school and departments. May I now introduce the chairs of my department? As I, as I talked about departments earlier on, we have three uh, main departments. Let us start with the Department of Environmental Studies and Community Development, Dr. Joseph Kurauka. Yeah, welcome to the Department of Environmental Studies and Community Development. 
uh, which is uh, in the School of Environmental Studies. My name is Dr. Joseph Kurauka, the chairman of the department. Uh, the department has four programs. Uh, we have um, a Bachelor of Environmental Studies, a Community Development, a Master of Environmental Studies, a Community Development, uh, and a Master's program in Community Development, often under the uh, CEP, or Continuing Educational Program. Uh, the department also has a Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies and Community Development. I welcome you all in the department. Thank you. May I also introduce the Chair of the Department of Environmental Sciences and Education, Dr. Gladys Kaduru. Welcome to the Department of Environmental Sciences and Education. My name is Dr. Gladys Gathuru. I'm the chairperson of the department. In this department, we offer three programs, undergraduates. That is, Bachelor of Environmental Science, Bachelor of Environmental Studies in Resource Conservation, and Bachelor of Science, Environmental Education. We also have five postgraduate programs, namely, Master of Environmental Science, Masters of Environmental Studies in Agriculture and Rural Development, Master of Science, Environmental Education, Master of Environmental Studies in Climate Change and Sustainability, and Masters of Science, Sustainable Urban Development. We also offer Doctor of Philosophy in all the above five master program. The programs shall take a minimum of four academic years for undergraduate, two academic years for masters, and three academic years for PhD programs. Thank you. May I introduce the Chair of the Department of Environmental Planning and Management, Dr. Sami Letema. Uh, welcome to the Department of Environmental Planning and Management. I'm Dr. Dr. Sami Letema. I'm the Chairman of the Department. In the Department, we offer Diploma course in GIS and Remote Sensing and then uh, Bachelor of Environmental Planning and Management, Master of Environmental Planning and Management, and Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Planning and Management. If you want to be an environmental planner or a manager, welcome to the department and Kenyatta University at large. Thank you. Our new students who are registered in the School of Environmental Studies, particularly in the programs that I have already mentioned, I would like to greatly welcome you to the School of Environmental Studies, and as you uh, register in the various departments, in the Department of Environmental Sciences and Education, in the Department of Environmental Planning and Management, and in the Department of uh, Environmental Studies and Community Development, you are very much welcome. If in case you want to join us and you, are, uh, you, have, you have decided to join another course, you are welcome to change the course and come into the department of, uh, in the, any one of the departments in the School of Environmental Studies. Welcome to our university and our school. Thank you.